it right now. He's going to scale the uh, stadium light pole uh, using his harness uh, for safety. We're going to uh, rig up a pulley for the uh, waterfall uh, system. We're going to be stringing some line through it. Uh, this is uh, going to be the main support line for the Niagara Falls effect. Okay, well, when he gets up to the top of the pole, um, we're going to do, uh, this is a two inch uh, tubular webbing. Uh, it's a very strong material. This is good for going around round uh, objects. Uh, it distributes the, uh, the weight and the tension over a greater surface area. Okay, and what we're going to do, pretending this is the pole when he's up there, is what's called a, a lark's foot, where you go around, around the object, and you come back through this little loop here, and uh, you're just going to pull it tight. It's going to come tight like this, okay? And then at the other end of it, we're going to have a carabiner here, and uh, the line will pass through the pulley. And this is how we will uh, string the falls up. Right now uh, they're laying out the Niagara Falls uh, effect on the grass. We're centering it in the field uh, before we start to wire it up and uh, sling it up in the air. Okay, right now they're uh, securing the um, Niagara Falls uh, rope to the steel steel line that you see right behind it. They're using a zip ties. Uh, the steel, steel line serves two purposes. One, to uh, take the bulk of the tension uh, well, it's strung uh, 45 feet up in the air, and uh, sometimes uh, the Niagara Falls, since they burn pretty hot, will uh, actually burn through the rope. So uh, with a steel cable there, that's uh, not really a possibility. Okay, what we have here is uh, the two zip wires uh, that we're going to use to uh, send the electrical signal down the uh, Niagara Falls line. Uh, so that we set off uh, all the electric matches. Um, the reason we have two is uh, I like to run everything uh, very redundant, especially since this is going to be 45 feet in the air. Uh, we're not going to have any chance of uh, fixing it once it's up in the air, and uh, we want to make sure it fires. This is one of the key pieces of the show. So what I typically do is there's, there's eight electric matches spaced throughout the entire falls, and uh, one of these lines, all the electric matches, it's gonna, we're going to go every other electric match, and one line will be uh, hooked in parallel, so all the electric matches will be hooked in parallel to that line. And then the other line, all the electric matches will be hooked in series to it. And I'll show you what that means uh, one at a time. So we're going to do the parallel line first. You have to be very careful and uh, separate the two wires. Okay. Uh, we're going to cut it. Okay, we split it apart like so. We're gonna strip both ends. Okay, then we're gonna take the electric match and uh, split those wires. Now we're essentially uh, putting three wires in parallel. Okay. Okay, so. All three of one end, one end on uh, from each of the wires, we twist all together. All right. Okay. Then the other end from all three wires, we twist together. Oh, that good. Now everything is essentially in parallel, and what we want to do to make sure that these uh, two exposed wires stay isolated is uh, wrap one end around uh, this line, like so, one end around this line, like so. Then we'll take a small piece of 
masking tape and uh, cover it up. And uh, we will uh, end up just uh, masking tape this little piece uh, back to the line. Okay, what we're gonna do now is uh, attach uh, an electric match on our series uh, zip line that's running along here. Okay, now for the series one, we're going to uh, once again, uh, this time we're gonna separate the wires uh, very carefully. Like two so we don't cut through them. Okay, like so. Okay. Be you're gonna take one of the lines and you're gonna cut it. Okay, so you've cut only one of the lines. Strip both ends. Okay, push the uh, copper together. Okay, now you take your electric match. Okay, so now we're going in series. So one side goes here. The other side goes here. Okay. So you can see now the electrical current it goes down and when it comes back it's going to come through here and it has to go through the electric match and return back to the source. Okay. You, just like we did with the parallel, to keep them separated, tie one end around one line and the other end around the other line. And that's it. That's your series connection. You're going to make sure you mask and tape uh, both of these like you did on the parallel line. Okay, now we're going to attach the uh, main support line um, that we tensioned down to the uh, steel cable. Um, that uh, is attached to the falls line itself. Yeah. We're gonna do a figure eight on a bite. So once again, uh, this is a bite in the rope. So this is all we've done. We made a bite in the rope. Okay, and you're gonna make a figure eight, which is uh, one and a half times around. It kind of looks like an eight when you're tightening it. Okay, make sure your knot's nice and tight together. Okay. We're going to take a carabiner. Okay. And we attach that directly to the uh, steel aviation line. Make sure the carabiner screwed tight. The uh, electrical wiring that we use on the falls, um, the zip wire, we don't want to have a lot of tension on it. So, what we do is, um, as you can see in the video here, we uh, tape it to the, the support line at uh, oh, every few feet and, and uh, leave a lot of slack in it so that uh, the tension in the support line doesn't pull on the, uh, the electrical line, which is uh, a lot more fragile 